Ladies and gentlemen, want to use icons like me? Well, check out U7 Buy. Select the coins you need. Type in JD for a cheeky 5% off. Link in the description. Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to the video. Today, we look at Prime Zola. 4 star, 4 star, high medium work rates, 5 foot 6. Gianfranco Zola is such a wonderful card. Now, when you look at his Prime card, especially if you compare it to the base, you're getting less pace, less composure, less agility and balance, less stamina. These are very, very important aspects, but what you're getting in return is definitely an increased or better shot. Now, for me, this Zola was incredible. I mean, he wasn't expensive. Now, one thing I love about Zola is his height. 5'6". He feels really nice on the ball. He's got some super sticky. And, of course, this Zola is more clinical than the base Zola indeed. Now, base Zola is around 180k right now. I know the 88 plus SBC just dropped. I've just come back from work, then went to the gym. So I've not really had a chance to do that SBC. But besides that, between me and you, I don't think the fodder of I don't think I've got the fodder to do it. So I think I'm gonna pass. Now when I used Bay Zola in the start of FIFA, I thought he was one of the best cards. He was absolutely insane. Now, I'm not going to use this Prime Zola and say he's one of the best cards. Absolutely not. Listen, this card is really good. But there were some fundamental things I didn't like about him compared to the base. First of all, I love the base. His pace is electric. This one doesn't have quite the pace. He doesn't have the 93 acceleration. Instead, he has 88. I mean, it's still good, but he doesn't feel as quick. He's got less composure. I don't get that. I don't understand how you can be in your prime and have less composure than the base. I don't get that. Surely as you develop, this must be a mistake from EA's point. How can you develop your game, get even better, be in your prime and have less composure than when you first started? It, that sounds ridiculous. Absolutely ridiculous. I'm a high school teacher. There is no way I started off the, prof the profession with more composure. No. Okay. Then this one's got less stamina. And I think that's an important aspect because this sort of card in this sort of stage of FIFA, you do need decent stamina. It is an important aspect to the game. Now, this one's got better passing, way better shooting. I love his finishing and I love his shooting. But can I just say there was opportunities that he did miss. And I think that's down to the low composure. However, most of the time he banged that at the back of the net. So I do really prefer this. When it comes to his shooting, I'd say his base is more suited to a cam, strike, right wing and left wing position. This one's more suited to possibly just a striker position because of his finishing and a cam roll. I wouldn't play this card out wide. I don't think he's got enough pace to play out wide. Preferably, if you're, if you're a winger in my team, you need to have a minimum of five star skills as well. And this card doesn't have that. Look, there's no doubt. That this card has got better shooting than the base. But the base has got better composure, better stamina, better pace. Better agility and balance. So them are really important aspects. In fact, this is not a major upgrade at all to his base. And in fact, if I had his base, I don't think I'd swap and pay an extra whatever 50, 60, 70, 80, 90k more and buy his prime. I don't I wouldn't do it. There's not much of an increase. I'm being absolutely brutally honest. Pace, composure, stamina, and agility and balance are four very fundamental aspects of somebody's game. It doesn't matter if you got better shooting. He's got low composure. He's probably not going to get that at the back of the net all the time. And that's something that you've got to you've got to think about. Anyway, I think this is not an, a major upgrade when you look from when you go from base the prime and i'm being brutally honest i didn't feel like this card was anything special compared to his base his base is absolutely ridiculous anyway i'm gonna give this card a nine out of ten thank you very much for watching please like and subscribe and peace